Hi, this will be a video on getting started with uh, Phaser 3. And uh, Phaser 3 is a JavaScript library for making games. So it's a framework, uh, you know, a library that, that allows you to make games in JavaScript. Okay. Um, Phaser 3 is pretty complicated. Um, you might want to learn it because you want to make games and you want to show your games on the web or through the browser in some way. Um, so Phaser would be a good choice for that. It's pretty mature. It's been around for a while. Um, you might also want to learn this and work through this tutorial, not because you want to make games, but because you want to learn JavaScript. So understanding a complex library like Phaser will um, improve your JavaScript skills. You'll learn a lot from it, even if you don't make another game, okay? You'll have to use classes, you'll have to write JavaScript code, you'll have to dig through documentation. If you can figure out this library, you can figure out any other library, okay? Um, don't think that your time is wasted, okay? This is, this is just figuring out stuff in JavaScript will only make your JavaScript stronger. And then if you're making games, maybe it's fun along the way, okay? So to get started, um, we're going to, Phaser 3 um, is the latest version, and we're going to be using that. And we're going to use a build system with this. And there's a tutorial for building um, like a Phaser 3 game on their website, and we're going to build that game, but we're going to do it a little bit differently than what they do in the tutorial. And we're going to build it using... Um, using a webpack, which is a, a build system, okay? And this will allow us to build apps in the way that all modern apps are built, okay? Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to uh, go to the browser here, and I'm at my uh, my GitHub repository here, and what I'm looking for is there's a, a repo called Phaser 3 Project Template. I'm gonna go here to it, and you can look for it under under repositories too. I'll post a link to it in the um, in the comments or the description for this video. Um, and this actually is my version of the template. I just um, forked the one from this Photon um, Photon Storm Phaser Three Project template because I was using Webpack version four, and theirs was supporting three, and it didn't work with my system. So I, I forked it and updated this one for for Webpack four. Um, you can click on this one, and you can this link here, and you can download the Phaser Three Project template for Photon Storm. Photon Storm is, are the pe are the 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 people that made Phaser. Okay, so these guys support Phaser, and then this is their, their starter project, okay? Uh, what you need to do is you need to download this project template. So I'm going to do it this way. You can, um, you know, fork this project, clone the project, um, do a lot of things with it. I'm going to actually just click on the green button and download as a zip. So this will download all the files in the project without creating a GitHub repo. You can make a repo later if you like. Um, so I'm going to just do it this way. So I'm going to download this. And once it's downloaded, I'm going to go find it in my downloads. And there it is, right? And what I want to do now is I need to install all of the, the the dependencies or all of the libraries and little bits and pieces of JavaScript code that belong to this project, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my terminal, okay? So if you're on a Mac, you can open up terminal. Um, they have a similar um, thing on Windows that I'm not familiar with, so I, I can't describe how to do that one, but I know you can do this on Windows, right? So you should be able to do everything here on Windows. So I'm going to open up my terminal here, and what I'm going to do is, I'm, I like to do it this way, I'm going to type cd space, and then I'll drag the folder into the terminal, and it'll give me the path to this to this folder, right? And then I'll hit return, and now I'll be in that folder, okay? And what I want to do now is, I'm going to open up the project in Atom, we can also like you can just drag it on top of Atom if you have um, you know Atom on your bar, or you can go to Atom and you can open it in Atom. A little shortcut here is you can just type in Atom dot, and then that should launch Atom and open up this project in Atom. Okay, so uh, now I've got the project open, and um, what I want to do is I'm going to take a look at the the files in the in the, the file browser here. And what you'll see is this is the project folder, and then I've got an assets folder and a source folder, and then there's a few other files here, okay? This package.json file lists 
all of the dependencies. So in other words, these are files that, that this project is dependent on. So we're gonna load these up, okay? And the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna use a, a system called NPM or Node Package Manager. And this will require that you have Node installed. So you'll have to go get Node, and I'm gonna go to uh, the browser here, and I'm gonna go to Node.js. So Node.js.org. Right, and here we are. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to download one version of Node, right? Whichever version that you want to use. This is the current version, and and this is the the m current stable version, right? So they make a, a new version here that where things might change and they're adding new features. And so if you're you know want to be cutting edge and you want to just use the latest version, you can use this one, but it might change and so you might have to update it. If you want to use the current stable version, you can grab this one, okay? And you'll have to follow the instructions here to install it, okay? Um, once you've done that, you can continue with the video. Um, if you've already got Node installed, then you can just continue right now. So our next step here is to install our packages. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say npm install so I'm back in the um, in the terminal here so I'll type in and, and I have to be inside the folder with my projects so you can see this is the path right here so I'm in the phaser 3 project template master folder and I'm gonna type npm install and then I'll hit return let me make this window a little bigger so maybe everybody can read that and so I'll hit return and then you can see npm does a job here it's doing a lot of work and it's installing all of the packages Oh, there we go and so everybody's installed I get a little message from phaser development here they're like hey support us on on uh, patreon or something right and uh, what we're gonna do and if you like like you know um, like photon storm or if you like I mean phaser you can also contribute to their to their and to their um, github repository right so if you want to have any any additions you want to make um, so what I'm gonna do now is I want to launch I'm actually just gonna clear the terminal here and what I want to do is I want to launch my phaser project okay so what I'll do is I'll type in npm start and then it starts up the the, the project right here and um, let's see here oh wait it says hey do you want to install the thing I'm gonna say yeah Sorry, I got to install Webpack. I'm on a different computer. There we go. One moment, please. Yeah, there we go, right? So I get this message here as it builds the project. And any moment now, just waiting patiently. Oh yeah, actually I forgot. So uh, it doesn't open the browser automatically, but it should be running at localhost 8000. Okay, so it says project is running at localhost 8000. I'll copy that and we can go to the, oops, I opened up GitHub desktop by mistake. Let's quit that, let's go to Safari. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll paste uh, lo oh wait, I'll paste localhost 8000 into the address bar and hit return. And this is my phaser game. So it's just running right here. This is like a default project. It just has like a, an image and a background and, and that's it. And it has a little animation running on the image. Okay. So if you've gotten this far, you've gotten phaser installed, you've installed all the dependencies and you've built the project using Webpack. Okay. So thanks for watching. And then we'll continue in the next video.